This is Matt Schlenker sharing a fairly extreme case of an insisted Zen. This Zen was placed ab internal with 0.4 milligram per cc of mitomycin C and did work for a period of time until this cyst slowly developed. I did drain this cyst and perform needling at the slit lamp only for it to come back and the patient had a pressure of over 30 on three classes when we decided to go ahead and do a formal revision in the operating room. You can see here we are doing this under a topical and a neural lep where we are doing a pyridomy to open up the area and we felt we would need a radial incision as well to really access this area and I would caution any of you doing revisions uh, with the Zen micro stent that the stent itself is incredibly fragile so great care must be taken in the dissection and part of the informed consent process should include having a backup uh, procedure for instance a trabeculectomy in the area another Zen or potentially a uh, tube shunt given again the fragility of the micro stent as you can see here we are dissecting we're trying to uh, obtain a scleral plane so make sure that tenons and Zen have retracted back and then trying to mobilize this insisted area and we know that tube shunts can often go into a hypertensive phase and you know aqueous flow and the stretching associated with it uh, can lead to significant fibrous encapsulation and this is again just a fairly extreme example of the same phenomenon happening with the Zen uh, micro stent you can see here during this dissection we are now slowly exposing and this actually took some time to finally isolate the distal end and it was interesting immediately we saw flow little beads of aqueous uh, coming through uh, that Zen micro stent and this reassured us that we can potentially just clean out all of the uh, scar tissue and then close this area and hope that we can reestablish uh, the flow uh, that was present uh, for many months and we were a little bit torn on what to do with the uh, fibrous tissue that was around uh, the Zen there in the middle because again we did not want to uh, amputate or occlude in any way this micro stent which was flowing quite well and you can see here uh, during our dissection we did encounter uh, a buttonhole uh, that we had to address as well but thankfully there was a significant amount of uh, conjunctival tissue. Now we had a little bit of a decision to make for tenons. Uh, often when I'm doing closures for say a pressure flow micro shunt, I will keep the tenons and use it as a protective uh, feature during my closure. Uh, but with a Zen I don't think this is as important and we already saw the aggressive nature of the uh, scar tissue so we decided to do a tenonectomy uh, here and I also would have maybe reconsidered if I thought the conjunctival closure was going to be difficult uh, but despite having that uh, buttonhole that we saw in the conjunctiva we we're still reasonably confident that we could do a reasonable uh, pull down and the other beauty of say a Zen or a preser flow microshunt bleb is that it is usually more posterior and I think the closure is a little bit more uh, forgiving than say a trabeculectomy which can sometimes establish quite limbal flow. So here we are just injecting or sorry placing some mitomycin sponges these have been soaked in 0 0.4 uh, milligram per cc uh, mitomycin and I did this for a period of uh, two minutes. So now we're just again double checking the flow and doing a little bit more clean up around the micro stent and our concern at this point was that the micro stent was sticking up a little bit and that it could be occluded by the uh, conjunctival tissue so we made the decision to use a 10 o nylon cross stitch to redirect uh, the Zen gently so that the flow was more parallel to uh, the closure and more posterior as you can see us just doing this here and you want to be careful not to tighten this too much as to potentially damage or occlude the uh, micro stent. So we're just doing a 311 tie here. And again, just paying careful attention to not uh, over tighten and then uh, burying this area. 
So here we are looking at the closure. Again, enough conjunctiva for a uh, conjunctival pull down all the way down to the limbus, and then using uh, eight O polysorb uh, to close at the limbus. And then what I do at the end of these, I did not have a formal side port, so I just use a 30 gauge needle on BSS cannula to inject into the anterior chamber and then assess for blood formation in any cytel positive areas, uh, paying particular attention, of course, uh, to the uh, limbal area. And again, my experience with the micro stent and the micro shunt is that it is rare uh, that they uh, have issues at the limbus. So the conjunctival closure is, of course, important, but does not have to be perfect. And I'd be a little bit more concerned about the radial area here, which has been exposed to mitomycin uh, now on uh, several locations. So here we are just doing that injection and then just assessing the area, and I use a, a wax cell. Uh, for this. Thank you.